Welcome to Power to Excel with Pastor Sule Emanuel. The Word of God is life. The Word of God brings power. The Word of God brings revival. The Word of God is God Himself. Jeremiah 15, 16 says, Thy words were found, and I did eat them, for they were unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. Be blessed as you listen to Pastor Sule Emanuel. Get set for the empowerment of a lifetime. A series in the last um, couple of brokers on the enemies of your prosperity, and I do tell us that the assignment number one assignment of Jesus, as revealed in Luke chapter 4, verse 18, number one assignment is to solve the poverty problem. He said, as he was reading out his mission statement, he said, The Spirit of God has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He said that first before talking about the oppressed, so which means. Before the, the solving the, the money compression problem, before solving the problem of emotional, emotional uh, uh, attack, emotional depression, the number one problem Jesus came to solve is to solve the poverty problem. Because when there's poverty, so many things happen. When a man is poor, the devil opens several doors for him. And this is my belief that people, we, 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 we should stop focusing on, on the popular maxim that says, the love of money is the root of all evil. We should stop focusing on that because there is a whole lot of revelation in that portion of scripture that we still have not gotten grasp of yet. What scripture was talking about when it says the love of money, First Timothy precisely, when it said the love of money, was talking about the greed for money. People who will do anything to get money. People who don't mind killing. People who don't mind stealing. People who don't mind backbiting. People who don't mind setting people up. So explaining greed it's used the term because you must understand when you study the Bible about contextual terms, things you use for the sake of a context. So when scripture says the love of money, it actually meant their greed for money. I believe at the root of most evil is the lack of money. Poverty, poverty as it were, can make you do the most ungodly things. It is the plan of God that we prosper. Like his word says, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. And be in good health, even as your soul prospers. And we established this fact that the number one enemy of your prosperity is ignorance. And I made it clear that we have five types of ignorance. I said the first one is ignorance of who you are. The second one is ignorance of what you have. And the third is ignorance of what you can do. And the fourth, I said, is ignorance of what to avoid. So they are rounding up this exposition on the types of ignorance, the, the reasons why people are poor. As scripture has revealed in Hosea 4 verse 6, that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because we do not know, that's what we cannot do. There are a lot of things you can be, a lot of things you can, you can achieve if only you know better than you are now. So if you want to be a better person, you must strive for knowledge. You must strive to know more and to increase your wisdom. The last of the ignorance uh, uh, types is ignorance of wealth creation strategies and wealth making principles. Lots of materials have been created. Lots of materials have been written. I've been privileged by God to write a couple of books. And in these books, I've revealed secrets of how to be a better person. There are lots of guys like Robert Kiyosaki, Donald Trump, who have written outstanding books on financial empowerment, world creation. But the problem we have with our present generation, we would rather read entertainment magazines, we would rather watch entertainment channels, than focus on materials that can empower our future. You go to our worship centers these days, the pastor may have written several books, but people go to the bookshop not to buy the books, but to buy the anointing oil. Because we have a mindset that you have to apply something, you know, something external to become wealthy. Meanwhile, what makes you really wealthy is what you know. Scripture says in Daniel 11, 32, For they that do know shall be strong, and they shall do exploit. As they know their God, as they know world's making principles, as they know world creation strategies, they that do know shall be strong. So knowledge brings strength, and strength inevitably makes you produce exploits. Lots of world creation materials have been written. There are people who have, have labored, great men and great women, who have achieved great successes with their lives, and they've put their principles in books and released it to the market. But very few of us who are eager for a better life have their books. If you want to be a better person, if you want to be wealthy, if you really want to be successful, get world creation materials. Get personal development books. 
Become voracious in your search for knowledge. Become addicted to the books of successful people. Every man puts his best in his books. So if you want to get the best of every person, get their books. Lots of wonderful material. The internet is replete with great resources. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful bank of information the internet has. You don't have money to buy books, but you do have access to the internet. These days, phones are WAP enabled where you can browse the internet with your phone. Search for good materials. Don't waste your time on social networking sites. Empower yourself. Make sure that every day you learn something new. Get someone's book. There are ebooks all over the place. Think and Grow Rich is free on the internet. Acres of Diamond, free on the internet. Wonderful books written by great men. Books written by Jim Rohn, all over the internet. Books written by, by, by Robert Kiyosaki, a couple of them are on, on the internet. Wonderful articles on Enzyme, free that you can read to empower yourself and become a better person. Don't just waste your life. Don't just waste your time. Don't give excuses why you are the way you are now. It's in your hand. It's within your power to become a better person, to experience a better life. If only you can pay the price, God is committed to crowning your effort with success. Don't forget what we shared today. Ignorance of what's making you know, uh, 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 principles, what creation strategies is the reason why many are poor. As you become passionate to create worlds, as you become passionate to multiply worlds, because that's another dimension, not just creating worlds, but multiplying worlds. As you become passionate about this, seek for materials that shed light on this. You can't say you want to become prosperous and you hate books on prosperity. You can't say you want to become a multi-millionaire and you hate books that teach on how to make your first one million. It's not, it doesn't add up at all. Get materials as a Christian, as a believer in your churches. In your churches, make sure you get faith building materials, word creation materials. In our church, for example, Mega Fire Ministry, we preach several messages on, on, on spiritual development, spiritual empowerment, on prayer, on warfare, on personal development, on destiny uplifting. We preach a couple of messages on financial empowerment. Get these materials, get these materials. And my blog, um. Suleimanuel, talk to Suleimanuel.com. I read a couple of articles that are destiny empowering. Go there. Empower yourself. Become a better person. Get books. Build a library. Build a library. Build a library. It's not just enough to keep changing clothes and not buying new books. Build a library. Make it a commitment to eat at least one book every month. That's a good way to start. And as you get better, you can focus on one book every two weeks. And as you get better, you can focus on one book every week. You can't be studying destiny and pine materials and not become empowered in destiny i believe this insight shared today has been a great blessing to you i believe that you would apply all that i've shared with you within this short time frame it is our delight and our passion to see that you succeed please very uh, feel very free to share your testimonies with us feel very free to share with us what this broker has, has, has helped you with how it has empowered you how it has moved you forward we'll be most delighted to thank god with you and thank god for you and in case you have questions issues you want us to handle on the power to excel brokers please do send these comments questions and observations to us and we'll be most delighted to share insights from god's word and practical wisdom as the spirit of god helps us on this platform it's been so wonderful so refreshing been with you on the part of Excel Brokers. My name remains Pastor Sule Emanuel of Omega Fire Ministry, 310 Oak Avenue, behind Randberg Square, beside Absa Bank, Fendale, Randberg, South Africa. Our details are on the screen. Get in touch with us. The announcers will tell you how to keep in touch with us. I look forward to seeing you on the next broadcast.